Okay, what are we going to do? We've, we've gone for a little over an hour. We went into the, uh, went into the Republicans. We went into Zeitgeist and for some reason. And economic models. We Oh, yeah. We went, we went into outsourcing. Uh, do we want to talk about the two things? Uh, do we want to talk about this one? Do you know what I'm talking about there? No. Um. Oh, it's a short thing. I can read this. Oh, well, this is just one example. Uh, uh, there's a trend. I, I, I kind of want you to tell me I'm being paranoid and nuts, but I don't know if you will. Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, 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 this is just related to, to to you know what we were talking about last week, and you know the, the the First Amendment. But there's I've noticed there's a trend in America as of late where like people what people think is wrong with the United States of America is that the United States of America is the United States of America. You know, it's like. I don't want any guilty people going free. I want to make sure every freaking guilty person is made to pay. If we have to throw a few innocent people under the bus to get it done, well, that's worth the cost. Um, you know, I, I, I respect your choices as long as you're choosing what I think you should choose. If you're choosing something different than what I think is the right choice, your choices are wrong and I need to take your choice away from you. I respect your freedom of speech as long as you're saying what I believe. You know, I I I I believe adamantly in protection against search and seizure, as long as you're not the bad guy. I, I you know it's, I I believe in your right not to incriminate yourself. But if you're really innocent, do you have anything to fear? <laughs> you know, and, and and so on and so forth. The reality is. If we're on, at least from my opinion, a growing number of Americans think our liberties, rights, and supposed values are what's wrong with the country. You know, if we just get rid of these things, we're good. <laughs> and it scares the bejesus out of me. <laughs> and I, I don't know when that happened. Like, when did this become what was wrong with America? that we were America. Because <laughs> that is what makes us America, that we have all those things. Or it's one of the key points that makes us America. <laughs> I am not crazy. <laughs> you, you don't think I'm crazy, or you think I'm crazy. <laughs> You're not. Uh, okay, in your opinion then, what Kool-Aid are people drinking that they think this is what's wrong with America. <laughs> um, no, you know, I, I'm sad when I hear a lot of this stuff that has to do with rights and saying, well, of course this person's guilty, you know, you know, and not understanding why we have things like beyond reasonable doubt, stuff like that, a lot of stuff. Well, well, and, and I, I guess when you were in school, because technically you're still in school, but like when you were taught the Constitution, I'm assuming you were taught the Constitution in like grade school, middle school, and high school. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When y'all got to the clause that deals with our principles of justice and our justice system, were y'all taught the underlying concept of basically our justice system is built on the idea better that 10 guilty people go free than one innocent be made to suffer? Or do they not teach it that way anymore? No, absolutely they're taught it like that, at least where I'm living. Uh, okay. Because that, that's what people are complaining about. That's like, oh, there's guilty people going free. We acknowledge yeah, we can't I, be at perfect. Least, at, least, at least in Silicon Valley, that's not the cool way that I feel is being dispersed. Um, so I don't know. Which particular Kool-Aid is being because there's multiple flavors of this Kool-Aid in the U.S. right now. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I'm not exactly sure uh, what's causing you know people to think like that. I guess when people are going under hard times, they look for something to blame. 
So, humans being human. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's just like when people are happy, they're like, oh yeah, of course, you know, humans are great, but when people are sad, they're like, everyone's out to get them. So, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, if they really, it, it worries me because if they really get what they're after, they're not going to like it. And, yeah. and they're going to realize, as bad as things are, they can get a hell of a lot worse. Because, <laughs> I mean, the reality is, I, 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 I laugh at this. You know, somebody using their freedom of speech to fight for removing freedom of speech or other liberties. I'm like, you're using your rights to take your own rights away. What the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> it's like, it's like the, the very thing you're trying to destroy is what you're using to destroy it. <laughs> Do you not see the irony of what you're doing? <laughs> Well, unless you want to go into this one. You know, when you say you want to go into that, anyway, so... Um, well, I, I can cut me saying that out. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's funny. We could... Um, how, so, is my face showing, by the way? Because I have my camera on for a bit. Yeah. Okay. We could go into it for a little bit. Uh, is this some recent law made or something? Uh, if you listen to the Republicans right now, uh, actually the conservatives, I, 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 I always refer to the conservatives as the Republicans and the liberals as the Democrats, but the reality is we have a four-party system. We have the Democrats, the Republicans, and the conservatives and the liberals. <laughs> Uh, but if you listen to the conservatives right now, they're talking about the amendments, a uh, minor retweaking of the provisions for what a health care provider has to provide. Basically, condoms are now a covered thing. They were always a covered thing, but it's the way in which they're a covered thing is now more mandatory. Which is basically, if you're providing uh, health coverage or supplemental aid or so on and so forth, basically, you have to have the option to provide for condoms. And birth control and things like this. Uh, like, oop, uh, like, Catholics don't believe in this. You know, every sperm is sacred. You know, it's... it's, it's if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to become a fan of Monty Python. It's like, uh, but um, basically, the the situation that's coming now. Okay, say a Catholic co-op is getting, in any way, shape, or form, federal money for their health program. Well, now Catholics who don't believe in birth control and condoms are in a situation where to comply with the law. They have to make birth control and condoms available, even though it's against their religious principles. And it, it, to hear the conservatives talk about this, it's, oh, they're taking away their freedom of religion. They're making them use condoms. To hear the liberals talk about this, well, uh, they're stupid. Everybody needs condoms and birth control. They're denying them based on their ignorance. <laughs> it's not a black and white issue. <laughs> and honestly, both sides make me sick. <laughs> I, I, I agree fully in religious freedom. Uh... You know, it, it, I mean, where does this line stop? You know, it, I don't. I don't think it's right for them to have to provide condoms. I don't. I don't see why a person can't just get them from some other provider. Well, no, see, that's the thing. They okay. Okay, the way the way the conservatives are making this out is like, oh no, you have to have a condom machine in the church. That's not what it is. It's saying the coverage 
has to offer it if your members want it. In other words, if they ask for it, you give it to them. The, the coverage provider that you're giving. Like, say I work at a Catholic hospital, whether I'm a Catholic or not, uh, okay. I, as part of working at the hospital, I get health care. You know, uh, part of my health care coverage has to be I can go somewhere and get condoms covered or, or birth pills or something. You know, basically we're saying this is the minimum coverage you have to provide. Uh, it's a very gray area because, you know, it's like it, 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 there's plenty of the, and the, the, the conservatives are like hyping on this. It's like, all the churches are going to stop offering health care because they have to stand by their religious convictions. And I'm like, hey, okay. I, I, I think they're both nuts. I, I agree. It, it's wrong to say church. You have to have a condom machine here. Because... Yeah. But they're not doing that. But that's the way it's being made out. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and in a way, they are doing that because they're saying you have to like cough and look the other way that something you consider a sin is being done on your dime, in part. Yeah, and, and you know, it, it is not a black and white issue. I, I honestly can't decide where the hell I stand on it, to be honest. I, 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 I see both. I can honestly see both sides here. It, it, it's it's one of the joys of we live in an imperfect world. That'd be an interesting thing to hear talked about in the comments. Uh, is that is that the end? I guess. Unless there's some other topic you want to throw in. We've been going on for damn near two hours now. <laughs> That's good enough for me then. <laughs> Actually, 90 minutes, but yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I apologize to everybody if, like, James gets really low in volume. <laughs> Something was going on, and we don't know what. We've had we've had more problems than usual this particular time. But the disco ball still works. 